video was supposed to be a small town girl to big city glow up since I just moved to Toronto from a really small town and I had booked an eyelash appointment, a nail appointment, hair appointment, spray tan appointment. I was going to go to the eye doctor to get contacts. Like I had this whole thing planned and that was going to be the video for this week. Obviously that is not happening anymore since everyone is social distancing and quarantining themselves. So I just decided that instead I would do an at home quarantine glow up. So we're gonna do an at home workout since the gym is closed. We're going to do some self tanners since I obviously can't go to my spray tan appointment anymore. I've literally never self tanned before. I always get a spray tan so this should go well. I'm gonna exfoliate, I'm gonna do a face mask, teeth whitening. We're really just gonna do as much as we can from home and see if I look better, because honestly, I really need it. Like, I needed those appointments. I'm so sad they got canceled. I have like three eyelashes left on my eyes. I don't know what to do about that. I might end up ripping them off or cutting them. We'll see what happens, but let's try and make me look better. One of the only good things about not having any furniture right now is that I have a lot of room for my at-home workout since the gym is closed and I cannot go there. Honestly, since I moved in, one of my goals has been to work out consistently and I've been doing a really good job at that. So I don't wanna get off track just because the gym is closed. So we're gonna stay consistent and do some at home workouts. So we are starting off with the bicycle crunches. These are pretty easy and are great for strengthening your abs. Hip lifts target your butt, just make sure you're squeezing it together when your hips are in the air. Scissor kicks, flutter kicks, and bicycle kicks aren't very fun, but you know, they get the job done. Donkey kicks are one of my favorites. They are really great for building a booty. And doggy hydrants build muscle that makes your hips look wider. So I found this new workout on Instagram that I've never done before. I'm gonna try it. I'm probably not gonna be very good at it. Okay, so I put one foot on this cloth and then I go like, Um, I decided to give up on that exercise and stick with what I know, squats. And then because I hate myself, I also decided to do jumping squats. Next up is lunge pulses on each side and then squat pulses because we're really just chasing that booty. And finally, I decided to do some hip lifts, but I'm using some hair products and hair tools as a makeshift weight. Okay, so while my bath water is running, we're going to put on a face mask. I love charcoal face masks. So and this is one of my favorites. It's by Origins. I'm just gonna, you know, smear that all over our face. Normally I'm a bit of a perfectionist when I put this on, like wanting it to be like perfectly shaped around my eyebrows and just like really neat looking. But currently you guys are blocking my view of the mirror. So this is probably gonna be a hot mess, but it's fine. Looks good to me. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god. The main objective right now is to exfoliate and relax. However, I don't know how much relaxing I'm going to be doing considering there's a camera and a studio light in my bathroom. So we might just focus on the exfoliating. Oh, that is a smooth me. This exfoliating bar I'm using right now is from Lush and I would highly recommend. This is amazing. I have a bruise right here and I have absolutely no idea what it's from. Don't you guys love it when you get random bruises that you don't know where they came from? That feels so good. That's like getting a back scratch. Oh my god. So I think what I've discovered from this bath time is that I really enjoy exfoliators. It is now self tanner time. Like I mentioned earlier, I've literally never done this before because I always get spray tans. But while I was at shoppers picking up the essentials like toothpaste and deodorant so you know, I don't stink while I'm quarantining. I also decided to pick this up and give it a try. Also, I'm aware that wearing a giant t-shirt is not like the most ideal thing to wear while doing a spray tan, but I just ate an absurd amount of pasta. So, you know, didn't really feel like being on camera in a bikini. So this is what you're getting. Oh God, that's scary. It looks green. Okay, I feel like this is gonna look good. I was really nervous because they only had one shade. And you know, that just seems very alarming when it comes to spray tan, but I think this is more of like a subtle bronzer. You know, with my pale body, I was just nervous that it was gonna turn me a very weird color. I'm having this problem of like, once I rub it in, I don't remember if I put some there. So I feel like I'm just piling a lot on top of each other. Honestly, now is the time 
time to try this. Like, I'm in self-isolation. Who's gonna see it? Officially a tan goddess. So it is the next day and I am definitely not a tan goddess. Tan? Kinda? Goddess? Absolutely not. This is the patchiest tan I've ever had in my life. This is why I do spray tans. I don't sell tan. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm not ready to give up on this glow up yet, so we are going to be making a hair mask. Since I couldn't make it to my hair appointment, which I was really looking forward to because I was going to go a lot blonder, we're just going to work with what we got at home. I'm going to do an avocado, lemon, and canola oil hair mask. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done a whole lot of hair masks in my life. I mostly just do face masks, but I feel like hair masks are equally as important. Now that my avocado concoction is done, I just need to put it in my hair. Ew, that feels so gross. Oh God, this is so gross. My hair better look really good after this. I'm making such a mess. Oh my god, okay. I need to I need to contain the hair. Okay, the hair has been contained. So I have to let this situation sit for about an hour. So while I'm doing that, I'm also going to do some Crest 3D white strips and I'm going to clean up this disaster of a mess I made. Perfect. I'm back and my hair is definitely softer. My teeth are hopefully whiter, and that shower did wonders for my tan. Like, it is no longer splotchy. It fixed everything, and I'm still, like, a little bit darker. So I would say we're on track for a great glow up. And now it's time to blow dry my hair. So now that my hair is dry, it is time to curl it, and I actually got a surprising amount of questions asking how I curl my hair. So I'll show you guys really quickly before we go into a time lapse. Basically, I just use a straightener, which I know some people think is weird, but it's what I do. I choose a fairly small section, and then I straighten it at the top, and then I just twist it like this, and go almost all the way down. So then you get something like this, but I like to kind of straighten it a little bit at the end just to give it like a looser, wavy look. And now to do the rest of my head. So this is my finished hair and I decided to move out to the living room to do my makeup because my couch came this morning and I'm so in love with it. It's so pretty and yeah, even though it doesn't really make sense to do my makeup here, I wanted to do it anyways because I wanted you guys to see my couch. I do have a little bit of foundation on to begin with, but you know, we're doing a full face so we have a lot more to do. I decided I want to start with brows so I'm just going in with my Anastasia brow pencil. I've seen a lot of makeup artists say that you're supposed to draw like little hairs, so that's what I'm doing. Moving on to blush. I love blush because I have really big like baby cheeks, so I feel like it's just very complimentary to my face, I guess. I like to put it on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of like drag it upwards. I think that's like a thing people do. I also like adding a little bit on my nose. Next, I'm taking my NARS Laguna bronzer and kind of just doing the same thing. I don't know, I kind of just put it on top. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. You're probably not, but it's what I do. I also put this down my neck because, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a tan goddess, so you know we gotta continue that on the neck. Next up is contour. I definitely don't do this every day, but I'm in quarantine, so I have the time. So we're gonna do a little bit of sculpting, I guess. I really don't know how to do that. That's why I don't normally do it. I also like to bring that up to my temples a little bit and along my non-existent jawline. Going in with my blush brush, I'm taking some contour and putting that under my chin because Rihanna said that's what she does. So therefore that's what I do. I'm gonna go along my nose a little bit. Next I'm going in with my Fenty highlighter. This is definitely my favorite highlighter I've ever used. I didn't really get the hype around it until I tried it and now I definitely understand. So I'm going to put that on the tip of my nose and just along the bridge a little bit. Under the brow bone, on my cupid's bow. I'm putting some on my cheekbone. Normally I don't take the time to line my lips, but like, what else am I gonna do today? So we might as well go for it. Okay, we're getting somewhere, but my eyes look absolutely terrible because I literally have three lashes on each eye. Like, it's bad. I need to get into 
to a lash appointment, but obviously that is not happening. So I'm going to use false lashes for the first time in about three years. I'm kind of scared. It's probably gonna look really bad because I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna try. Before I do that though, I do want to dip into my James Charles palette and try and do some kind of eye look. It's gonna be very simple and natural, but we're just gonna see if we can do something. Actually, I think I'm just gonna start off with my finger and go in this color. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into this color, this color, this color, and this color, and then put that in my crease. <laughs> Whenever I have like three lashes left, I always like to do winged eyeliner because I feel like it kind of hides the fact that I don't have any eyelashes. Kind of good. I'm making this a lot thicker than I intended. For lashes, I'm using the Lily Lashes from Sephora. I apparently used one pair of these at some point, don't really remember when that was, but I think they're supposed to be good, so we're gonna try them. Oh my God, they're so fluffy. I'm like actually kind of nervous right now. Okay, um, the inner corner is not glued on, so I don't know how to fix that. I'm gonna be honest, not really feeling the lashes. I definitely like my eyelashes to be a lot more natural than this, so I am going to cut them. The next thing we need to take care of is my very grown out nails. These look absolutely awful. They're so long and just, they need to go. I haven't removed gel polish in a really long time, but I remember it is not easy or fun to do. I'm gonna start off by taking this buffer and basically, oh, I hate that sound, just taking off the shiny coat. This is actually so hard and time consuming. I am not enjoying this. And I think we're done. Personally, I would love to take a break right now. My hands are very tired, but we're just gonna keep going and pour some of this nail polish remover onto these cotton balls. <laughs> this feels like a science experiment. So what I'm going to do is take a cotton ball, place it on a finger, then grab some tin foil and wrap it around. And voila. Now I need to do that to all the rest of my fingers. I would just like to say that at this point, I was already over an hour into the process. Like it was taking so long. <laughs> oh my God, this is so hard. When I moved on to trying to put the tin foil onto my second hand, I started to get a little bit frustrated because every time I tried to put one on, a tin foil piece would like fall off my other hand. Like it was so hard. No, my thumb fell off. <laughs> I lost my middle finger. I lost my pinky, are you kidding me? It is about 30 minutes later and obviously I've taken the tin foil off my hands. It wasn't working that well, so I ended up just soaking my hands in here for a little while and I'm hoping that now it will peel off. Surprise, it did not peel off. So I decided to try cutting my nails and doing it again. Still didn't really work, but I had filed down my nails enough that it wasn't super noticeable and with them being cut, I just decided to paint over them. As you guys saw, my nails aren't looking the best ever. I would say they're actually looking pretty terrible. So we're gonna try to make up for it with a good outfit. Don't really know what I'm feeling tonight, but we're just gonna kind of go through, see what I got. These are my favorite jeans. So I think I'm gonna do these because I just feel like they're very flattering on my body and they make me feel cute, so. For a top, I think I'm going to try this sweater. It's cropped and cute and just, you know, I think it's the vibe I'm looking for. And this is my at-home quarantine glow-up outfit. Definitely a little extra for just chilling around the house. You know, we've got my Louis Vuitton fanny pack, which will be perfect for my snacks. Other than eating, I'm probably gonna try and get some Instagram photos. So follow me on Instagram, at Brianna Renee, to see lots of cute photos taken around my apartment. I hope this video was helpful though and maybe gave you guys some inspiration of things that you can do at home. I hope you guys are all staying safe. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!